going to show you the Emperor feeder. It's the first purpose made game pheasant, principally pheasant feeder. It also has got some very interesting uh, benefits, principally it catches rainwater, which says you're having to carry water to remote locations. This is it, it comes in a box, one person can do everything very, very quickly. I've just taken it outside the cardboard box. We've made this out of recycled Scania mud guards. It's extremely tough and durable polyethylene. Brilliant for exposure, uh, long exposure to UV. Inside, you'd normally find the bag of components that are needed to assemble this. It's best to turn it upside down when you're working on it. And on the base, you'll see we have four pre-drilled uh, holes. These are to fit this feeding nozzle. Now this feeding nozzle is the standard nozzle that comes with the Emperor feeder. You'll find four screws in there as well. Um, the feeding nozzle itself has uh, a coned area here so this prevents jamming and it allows an easy flow of feed material through the feed system. On the bottom here we've got this gap. This acts as a drain it's self-cleaning so the dust, any dusty feed that ends up in there will drop out of here or if any rain ever gets in there then obviously it'll drop out as well. So you don't get a blocking up on this particular feed pan. You can fit any feed pan to the Emperor feeder. Um, we have here what's known as the right feeder and this again is for game principally or the standard coil springs will fit inside there. Well the feed pan this is the standard feed uh, dispensing nozzle and there's four pre-drilled holes on the bottom. Basically line that up and we have a heavily fluted screw, self-tapping screw that comes with it. This is purposely made for plastic. What it does is we screw it in at an angle uh, and what happens there is that anchors it and prevents if this ever gets attacked by badgers or pulled aggressively it gives some extra strength to the bottom of the container because these these containers these nozzles dispensing nozzles can be used on obviously standard uh, drums that can be bought second hand and when we're fitting them what we do is line them up with the holes and assemble them so The angle helps giving access to power tools or indeed regular screwdrivers. If you were to fit this larger pan, which is principally used in feed pens, then what I would do is fit that first, because the larger pan, if you fit that first, it doesn't give you access to get in with the power tools. So we usually provide that as a separate item that can be fitted first, then afterwards this slots on into position and then four screw holes here. This large feed pan has the same detail, it's got drain detail here all the way around where dust and, and water can escape, but it gives a much bigger area. These areas here offer some protection if the cock birds get defensive over the food. This allows the hen birds to get access elsewhere, so it... Um, it's great help in, in pens. Right, so next we're going we're gonna to fit the legs. Inside this pack of bits we have three wedges. This takes up any intolerance of 3 by 2 Now these come as standard lengths inside the box, but obviously if you wanted to make it higher or lower then it is just standard 3 by 2 and these wedges will take up any misfit. They push in like that. And again here. Now for additional security, what we can do is, there are th three small nails that are provided with the Emperor feeder in a little bag, and they can help you fix the wedges into position. What I normally do is tap them tight and then just put the little nail heads in and that's it. So we'll do that on the other two. And 
And there you have it. Now, what we need to do next is this section of tubing, how this operates, when you get the lid on, this acts as a rain collector. So we have an area here where we can fit the hose. What happens now is this allows us to harvest any rainwater. As the rain drops, this profile, this shape, allows it to collect water around this edge here. This, in essence, acts as an inverted umbrella, collecting the water, keeping the area immediately, the high traffic area, immediately under the feeder dry, which is very, very important to control disease. But I'll show you what you can do with the collected water later. But first of all, how do we move it and, and use it? There's two well-placed handles here, which allow you to maneuver the thing around. The lid is a snap fit, so we have an undercut there that's watertight, so no water can get inside the container, and it snaps. So if you're opening and closing a lot of them, this is easy to do and quick. But it's the right height for a bag of material. This will hold three, three standard bags of corn. The area underneath, this is critical. The whole shape is is a silo shape so that any feed that you put in the top of this feeder will naturally work its way through. Uh, there are no dead areas. If you're reusing old chemical containers um, or food containers you'll find that they're flat. They're blow mouldings so they're flat on the base. The corn or the feed that sits there will sit there indefinitely. That's not healthy for the birds. The beauty of this being tailor-made is you've got a silo effect. Everything comes through, everything cycles through. One of the principal benefits of this as well is the stability. With getting this silo effect, the centre of gravity is very low. The angle of the legs is the right angle to give it the optimum stability, which is very important if you've got things like deer or badgers coming close to it or trying to feed from it. Additional anchorage can be given into the ground if you're in a very, very exposed position, but it's inherently stable. We'll work with many different types of feeds, but I've got a small bag of corn here just to show you how it pops out into the feeder. 